It is time for the highs and lows of the week. And our first high goes to getting out of the office, away from the stress of your job, hopping behind the wheel of a state-of-the-art American automobile, punching the accelerator, just seeing where the road takes you. Not very far in the case of President Biden for security reasons, but he never misses a chance. You may remember back in May, the president took the keys of Ford's F-150 Lightning electric okay. pickup truck and absolutely floored it on his way out to the test track. This week, he burned some rubber in a brand new electric Hummer during a visit to the General Motors factory in Detroit. You going to want to jump in the back on the roof? You look good, President. With GM CEO Mary Barra in the back seat, the president engaged the Hummer's Watts to Freedom Launch Mode, or WTF for short, which takes that big beast from zero to 60 in about three seconds. After a White House reporter tweeted a clip of the tire screeching, Biden responded, like I said, I'm a car guy. An early birthday present for President Biden, who turned 79 yesterday. Our first low goes to the knowledge that in this real estate market, you can't even afford a doghouse, especially when the German shepherd who owns it just won't come down from that $32 million asking price. I should explain, a very lucky dog named Gunther VI is the beneficiary of a trust that owns an eight-bedroom estate in Miami. The trust purchased the mansion from Madonna. The spread was passed on to Gunther, the German shepherd, as inheritance from a German countess. Sensing a hot market, the savvy Gunther has listed the property for nearly 32 million bucks. According to handlers who manage the estate, Gunther is a bit of a trust fund layabout. He spends his days playing on the lawn, eating chef-prepared breakfasts, and sleeping on a velvet bed overlooking the bay. The real estate news made it to Madonna herself, who wrote on Instagram, when you find out a dog is selling your old house for three times the amount you sold it for. Our next tie goes to a New Jersey high school quarterback named Alex Brown, who played the game of his life just one day after losing his mother to breast cancer. Alex's mom, Michelle, was his biggest fan, cheering him on from the sidelines at every game, including one last month in honor of breast cancer awareness. Michelle died last week after her 14-year battle, and Alex said he knew he had to play the next day in her honor. She taught me to be strong, and she, she gave me that courage to step onto that field. And then, you know, just playing that game, I just, I just played for her. And my goodness, did Alex play. The senior threw six touchdown passes and ran for two more TDs, setting a single-game school record and leading Red Bank Catholic to a quarterfinal playoff victory. Alex's tribute video to his mom since has gone viral, even getting a response for another one of his heroes, Tom Brady, who commented, proud of you, Alex Brown. And an update to this story, in Friday night's semifinal game, Alex ran for two more touchdowns and a comeback win. Red Bank Catholic now will play for the state championship this Friday. Our final low goes to a pair of friends named Callie and AJ, who became viral stars this week after a run-in with a nosy camel at a drive through safari in Louisiana. AJ scurrying to the back seat as the camel chases the car Jurassic Park style. Now, Callie says she accidentally locked AJ's window so he couldn't roll it up, giving the camel full access, though she really seems to be enjoying the whole thing, so you have to wonder how accidental it was. Better than locking the window when the lion comes up for a bite, I guess. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.